Hey, Parkwood, uh, Pastor Alex here bringing you your next midweek encouragement. And so the text that I want to draw your attention to today is found in John chapter 11, verse 35. And it simply says this, Jesus wept. You're probably like, what? Like, that's that's it? That's the verse you want to encourage us with today? And the answer is yes. I want to direct your attention to those two words only. And here's why. I think they so beautifully um, display the character of God. And I was thinking about them the last couple days and wanted to share. This verse grammatically is the shortest verse in the Bible, but it's actually packed with so much depth. Um, my job is to encourage you over the next couple moments. And so that's what I want to do. In the context of this passage, Jesus has come to see two sisters, Mary and Martha, who just lost uh, their brother Lazarus. He's just passed away. Uh, and Lazarus is actually one of Jesus' close friends. So Jesus comes on the scene here. He hears the news uh, of what happened. And Mary and Martha actually confront Jesus. And they're like, Jesus, if you were here, our brother would not have died. They believed that Jesus could uh, heal Lazarus before he passed away. And he was totally capable of doing that. Um, but that's just not how things played out. Lazarus ended up dying. And so there's obviously grief and sadness coming from the sisters. Uh, and Jesus shows up. He finds out what happens. Now, here's the thing. Jesus has the ability to raise Lazarus from the dead. In fact, if you read the whole story on your own, we see that this is exactly what happens. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. But before he does that, the Bible says Jesus wept. Why? Why in the world is Jesus himself, the son of God, who has the power to heal and restore and comfort and raise to life, crying in this moment? What kind of an all-powerful God is that? Jesus knows that he's about to raise Lazarus, Lazarus from the dead. Why cry if you know that he's going to come back to life and, and that you have the power to bring the grief and the sadness to a complete halt? And like I said earlier, it's deep. Uh, there are actually a few reasons that Jesus wept, and we don't have time to get into all of them. But one of the reasons that Jesus wept, even though he was about to raise Lazarus from the dead, um, is because he had compassion. He felt with Mary and Martha. He was sad for them. He was supportive of them in their sadness. He knew what they were going through. What he did in that moment is he got on their level and felt with them, mourned with them. Why is this so encouraging for us? I'll tell you why it's encouraging to me. Uh, in my personal life, usually when I'm going through something, if I can be honest, whether it's losing a loved one or uh, you know, experiencing hurt or pain, whenever I'm sad in some way, it's always great if possible for that hurt and the pain to stop immediately. Um, that's usually not realistic. But what's the most comforting for me in those times, and I think it's true for a lot of humans in general, is just when I know someone's there with me, um, you know, whether my wife is by, by my side or I get a text from a friend that says, I know what you're going through. I feel with you. Or when a friend sits there with me in silence as I process uh, my emotions, I'm usually not looking for someone to fix how I'm feeling. I just want to know that someone is there for me. And that right there is so comforting. I, I know I'm not alone. And you might find comfort in that too. And so my encouragement for you today out of this verse in its context, context is that this is who Jesus is. Whatever you may be going through today, uh, tomorrow, in the future, at any point in life, um, and it doesn't have to be just experiencing loss. Maybe you are. Uh, maybe you're experiencing a broken relationship or you've lost your job or uh, you're dealing with anxiety or insecurity. Whatever we go through in life, whether or not Jesus heals or restores or raises to life or rescues you immediately is totally up to him and his will. And he invites us to ask for those things. But one of the most comforting things that we can be sure of is that he is with you. He, he's with us. He is compassionate. He sees you. He knows what you're going through. He grieves with you. When we hurt, he hurts. And if you're anything like me, that is refreshing in and of itself. That, that honestly, it makes the pain and the hurt a little bit easier to bear. I wish that I could promise you that whenever you go through something or lose someone or, you know, we go through a pandemic and our whole world is shaken, that uh, Jesus will just immediately rescue you. I wish that were true in, in my case. And he does sometimes, certainly not all the time. Uh, but, but what we can be certain of is that Jesus feels when we feel. 
He sees us and knows what we experience. He is not a far off distant God. He is right there in the midst of the storm, uh, the storms of life with us, right? And that's so reassuring when we go through things in life. Jesus wept. Those two words tell us so much about the character of our God. And so as you go about your day today, think of those two words, R- read the full story on your own. Think of the context and think of the implications of those two words right there and be encouraged today. That in every season of life, whatever the circumstance, whatever you're facing right now or down the road, you are not alone. 